Why does Mexico get all these beautiful, voluptuous women to do the weather and we get Al Roker? A disfrutar muchísimo lo que nos regale la madre naturaleza en el resto del país. Vemos excelentes las condiciones de cielo, así es que el... This presenter attempts to present the news front of the sea and trying to enjoy nature, but it failed and was about to fall into the sea. I dare you not to laughing. Δεν βαριέστε το καλοκαίρι, ήρθε επιτέλους για να μείνει. Ποιος δεν έχει χαλαρός... Δεν έχει χαλαρός... Holly Willoughby. They went to a lot of trouble giving her that bukkake look as often as they could. This was so wrong. Hilarious. So gorgeous and wonderful and performing five colors in her hair. But not only that, um, we also had Pete Gavel. He came in and he went to the way. Um, which side be better? UCLA's Ashley Sanchez gets dunked after game-winning goal against USC in overtime. Ashley Sanchez ends it with the biggest goal, I'm guessing, in your career. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, gosh. And that'll wake you up. I saw then, it coming. I hope you don't blame me for not warning you on that I one. I actually didn't see that one coming. Cameraman definitely understood the assignment, but let's not forget to thank the wardrobe consultant for doing their due diligence on this segment as well. If she hosted this show with her back turned, it would have the highest ratings on TV. That's everything for us, and right now is here to talk about a guy who is an entertaining young man to watch, isn't he? Oh, that's right, Kurt. It's not just Debo saying so much fun to watch, kind of like the guys on this show, Terry. Uh, are you singling me out? <laughs> It's always nice to see a woman showing interest in a man. Most everyone has done this at some point. She just picked a hilariously inopportune moment. Now he has ice on it. That's all the training staff could give me. You know, I'll definitely keep you posted. Bruce Ellington, though, is such an incredible athlete. This is the second straight year he will be a two- Zimmerman ran out of the way like he didn't give a dang that the reporter got drenched. She actually had pretty fast reaction time. Oh, throwing, throwing strikes and get ahead of guys. <laughs> I'm gonna say this video is gonna gain a lot of views and likes from all the pantyhose slash tights and foot fetishists out there. Good at this. I could take my bra off too without mm -hmm. you even seeing anything. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Hold on. Get that up here. Just Just keep living, JKL. That's nice. Thank you. After that ops moment, she stopped wearing a skirt. You'll only ever see her in trousers. We're gonna do that again. We're just gonna do the opening again. Because my cushion. No, we can see them. Um... You can see up my. <laughs> Sometimes you need to have a message on your underpants. You're the best, Jenny. It was a pair of <laughs> underwear that said "Call me" in glitter on the back <laughs> from my mom. <sighs> I wish you guys could see Mel's face. I, I don't know I where mean, to go with that one. She's just being thoughtful. Yeah, well, she is, and she wants you to call when you get home. Yeah. So when the last day when you get undressed and put your jammies on, you know, it's just a little reminder well, right there. Well, it's in handy because everybody needs underwear. Right, and you know, that reminder to call your mom. And sometimes you need to have message on your underpants. Wow, that's pretty spectacular. Do you guys want to do traffic? Jumped in a pool on live TV. I love reporters that go the extra mile for a story. All right, feet. I'm gonna send it back to you in the studio. See ya. Oh my oh! gosh! She did it! She did it! <laughs> <laughs> I saw her wearing high heels a minute ago. Oh my goodness. Cannonball Chloe, it is. Forever and ever. Uh, I remind me when we go to Rio to. Stephanie Meister is wearing a white top while she is sliding down a water slide in this German TV show. Aus und ich hoffe, dass ich auch lebendig unten ankomme. Bis gleich. Ich behaupte einfach mal, ich habe den Badetest bestanden, angenehme Temperaturen. Und wenn Sie wissen wollen, ob es morgen wieder so schönes Badewetter gibt, dann müssen Sie schon dranbleiben. Love to see that great hair covered in beer. Go into the postseason and keep on going. <laughs> oh yeah, 
now you're a part of it. You're part of the team. <laughs> yeah. you're I missed it. Yeah, you guys are the best. I miss these moments. Uh Her co-host deserves an award for being able to concentrate on his work. I couldn't do it. Damn, her legs are perfect. Dani? Dani. ¿Se ¿Qué pasó? ¿Por qué Dani me señala? Dani, si Dani Juan. tiene novio, que si esas piernas tienen... Perdón. Dueña. Caminan hacia alguien, esa es la Perdón. gran pregunta. Se la responderemos en minutos. Minuto. Poor Hazel May. I think she should just wear her bathing suit when doing interviews at the end of the game to cut back on the dry cleaners. Great job, Hazel May. This was going to happen for him. It was just a matter of time, and it's been great for us. Chloe Castaneda gets drenched with ice water and previews UCLA's fight in postseason. Um, just overall work rate was amazing. Um, this is our fourth win against NC. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's a nice bath. That's freezing. Nice bath. Well deserved. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. Do you think she notices what she looks like when she does this stuff on live TV? End up blabbering, they will get a cup of sour hyena milk in the face like this. <laughs> Which is not a nice thing. Yes, they've stolen your hearts, they've thieved my handbag, it's the hyena! Holly used to get me up in the morning in more ways than one, let me tell you. I would like to say thank you to Nanda for coming on the Ministry of Bay today. I'm going to get very single, a little bit of action, it is our ITV Decent Morgan Holly Willoughby gives Nazi salute live on air. Do you know what? I'm scared to say this. We are set, apparently, for a heat wave. This is according to the force cut. Force casters? <laughs> May the force be with you. With the, <laughs> the force casters. Uh, so, Jason Gardner is here. It seems that the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, has closely observed what this beautiful presenter has done. It was a strange coincidence, wasn't it? Ente ruso, Vladimir Putin, ofreció este jueves un préstamo a las compañías privadas y estatales que pertenecen al gasoducto que se conectará con la Unión Europea a través del Mar Negro. Putin aseguró al primer ministro griego, Alexis Tsipras, que Grecia podría convertirse en uno de los principales centros europeos de distribución. The main presenter on the Russian channel REH, Tatiana Limonova, makes an obscene gesture in the airtime that states the name of Barack Obama. Трудничество. Ранее этот пост занимал американский президент Барак Обама. На пресс-конференции по итогам... Reporter pretends that he's fighting with the strong winds of Hurricane Florence. The only thing worse than the lie is the lies you tell trying to make your first lie legit. New Zealand PM's response to an interview during an earthquake. Her reaction to the earthquake is more stable than my entire life. But it is. We're just having a bit of an earthquake here, Ryan. Quite a, quite a decent shake here. All but, right. Um, if you see things moving behind me, has it stopped? The Prime beehive moves a little more than most. <laughs> has it stopped, Prime Minister, or is it still going? Uh, yep. No, it's it's just stopped. A big pig began to chase the reporter George Papadakis during live broadcast in Canada area. This is so freaking cute. It's also ironic how the parrot itself is a criminal and steals the news reporter's AirPods as he's talking about the increasing number of robberies in the city. 
evidentemente la sensación con la que está generándose este tipo de, de cosas acá ha complicado un poco la seguridad del sector y también de lo que hoy en día se puede considerar. Eh, sí, y evidentemente hay una situación complicada que tiene que ver con eh, lo que ocurre acá en el, la, la comuna. Journalist Sandra Mir was filming a report for the Telecinco channel about the end of the use of masks in public transport. During the filming of a sequence, she entered a subway train and exited through another door, followed by her operator. But the carriage door closed right in front of the cameraman, who stayed inside the train. This footage, which made the whole wagon laugh, they were not broadcast live, but only on social media. Para abandonar este gesto, un gesto que llevamos repitiendo desde hace dos años y nueve meses, concretamente desde el 3 de mayo de 2020. Ahora ya deja de ser obligatoria a partir de mañana, aunque hemos hablado con muchos pasajeros. ¡Ay, mierda! Jeanette from iCarly had no clue from the answer board. Because of those feelings, she was even too paranoid to even get slimed at the moment. So she had no choice but to make a run for it. I just about laughed so hard during that moment. Run. The fall is funny as it is, but with J-Hope's reaction, I seriously can't stop laughing. <laughs> this man tried to take the iPad from the presenter. However, he failed and fell to the ground in a very funny way, live on air. The inventor of this motorbike was hosted on television, but his dream didn't come true, and he failed miserably on the camera. The show's host attempted to walk on this game, but she fell in a funny way. Poor Hazel May once again getting doused. This time she took a big hit from a barrel of blue liquid. June 23rd, 2019 versus Boston Red Sox postgame interview with Lord Guriel Jr. Congratulations, Lord S. Guriel Jr. Melvin Upton Jr. talks about what it feels like to hit a walk-off homer, the importance of a team win, and he gets a Gatorade bath. And came out with a win. What does it say about this team? <laughs> to use absolutely everyone on the bench, in the bullpen, a complete team effort. Justin Smoke smoked a game-tying homer in the ninth, and then a walk-off dinger in extras to give the Toronto Blue Jays a timely win, and his teammates thanked him by giving him a Gatorade shower. Ball club, I mean, you guys have been struggling in one run ball games. What does this do for this ball club? While being interviewed by Jamie Erdahl, he had a cooler of ice water thrown on him, which also soaked Erdahl. She seemed to take it in stride. It's always hilarious when a reporter gets soaked, especially a woman. So, this is definitely for Danny. It's a great birthday present. I'm sure he's very grateful. <laughs> I, I 
take it this is a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully we see more of this. <laughs> I hope so. Big turnaround for all of us, and hopefully we continue and let it go tomorrow. Congratulations again. Nice job. Thank you. Stay um, dry. Best champagne shower ever on live TV. Guys are getting interviewed, and they decided that uh, Meredith needed a good dousing. In fact, I guess Chase Headley's happy she's not wearing the rain poncho. There she goes. Well, there is a guy wearing a poncho behind her, Matt Stucco. Why is he wearing the poncho? Yeah, that's, that's wrong. YesNetwork.com's Matt Stucco. Come on, Matt. Oh, look, he's taking video of it, and he's uh, super dry. Meredith, by the way, to her credit, has learned this so well that she got that dress. I like how she said, what the fuck, after the first Gatorade shower. Right now. Christian Yelich gets Gatorade bath following win over St. Louis. Adeline. Jenny Levy gets the Gatorade bath. And uh, what do you call it? Um. <laughs> University of Alabama head coach Nick Saban being splashed with ice cold red Gatorade. He'll enjoy that bath, he said, for two days. Then it's Target Pasadena. And a third... This video makes me feel like the guy just had bad anger issues. And they were more as pissed as I was. Do you think he should be suspended? Who? Ryan. I'm the wrong guy to be asking about suspense. <laughs> <laughs> Holy mackerel. Astros reporter Julian Morales hops on the Philly Fanatics ATV and takes a ride prior to the start of the Astros-Phillies game. That's one lucky green dude. And uh, it was a, it, it actually turned out pretty dangerous. He took me to a place I've never seen before. <laughs> okay, I'm on. This is a uh, very impromptu. I have no idea what's about to happen, everybody. But enjoy the game if I don't ever see you guys again. <laughs> Drunk Australian TV news anchor blooper win news camp bearers Karen Johnston. Tonight, the annual ACT kangaroo cull falls short of its target. The Territory has its warmest July on record. And Canberrans getting behind the Brumbies tilt at the Super Rugby title. Good evening. Tonight, I am going to sound like drunk. Thank you for another camera. Okay, thanks. Now let's take it easy, this is not the World Series and nothing ruins your chances of victory more than a premature celebration. I don't have any words for it. Um, I love this state. I love this team. The community is awesome. Minnesota is welcome to me and my family. Uh, so to give back to them, it's been a lot. <laughs> oh, oh, it's been great. I, I can't describe it. This is the best. This is the best. A little wet. This is the hilarious interview that a mischievous pair of pals gave to TV reporters. What's his name? His name's Tony. Can you give us his last name? Montella. Tony Montella. <laughs> yeah, it's got that. Yeah, you watch it? Good movie. Well, <laughs> what's your name? My name's Sam. Is it actually? No, my name's Toby. What's your accent? Toby Mitchell. <laughs> oh, God. This should be a And he got his gear back, didn't he? His gear? Yeah, he got his pipe back, he got his bong, he's got everything's back, man. He got his equipment back. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, his equipment. He sure did. BBC presenter Victoria Derbyshire apologizes as she becomes the latest star to mispronounce the foreign secretary's name and call him Jerry Cunt live on air. Steve Ryan, you say that, that the man that you're backing, Jeremy Cunt, I'm so sorry, Jeremy Hunt, I've never said that before in my life. It's usually men who say that, so I really, really want to apologize. I'm sorry. Um... That is all for today. If you liked it, give a big thumbs up because your support is very good for us. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel.